Okay, welcome to another lesson. Uh, in this lesson, we are going to look at uh, a Kastner question that was tested on calculus. Eh? Remember, we have just completed our in our previous videos we completed uh, differentiation and integration. So we want to move on and look at uh, the questions that have been tested on the same. Now, uh, <clears throat> I'm looking at a question that was tested in the year December 2022, and this question was question number two. Uh, this question had how many marks? This question had 10 marks. So we wa I want to see uh, what was expected to you as a student eh, for you to score all the marks. Now, the question reads, Shotex Limited, a manufacturer of stylish shoes, estimate that at full-scale production, it will sell between 2,000 and 3,000 pairs of shoes. The total monthly revenue in thousands of shillings over this range is represented by the function. This is uh, total revenue is 3x squared plus uh, 7x. Then the marginal cost is represented by 5x squared minus 3x uh, minus 2. And the fixed cost is 1,000. And remember, you are told that the marginal costs are in thousands of shillings. Now, where x is the monthly output in thousands of pairs of shoes. The first question you ask, you come up with, derive the average cost and the average revenue function. <coughs> now, average cost. Let's begin with average cost. Average cost... Uh, is supposed to be total cost divided by quantity. Yeah, that means here you're supposed to look for total cost first, total cost divided by. But how do you find cost? How do you find total cost? Total cost is obtained by integrating marginal cost. So uh, I have to first find the marginal cost. So that uh, uh, no, how to find the total cost so that I can get the average cost. So I want to integrate. Uh, let me to get the total cost here. I integrate five x squared minus three x minus two dx. If I integrate this one, uh, what will I find? Uh, we mentioned that when you want to integrate. I add 1 to the power divided by the new power minus 3x. I add 1 divided by the new power minus 2x plus c. So in this case, I will have 5 over 3x cubed minus 3 over 2x squared minus 2x plus c. But what is c? This is the total cost. C is the value c is obtained when the the output or the where the units produce are zero that means when these are zero it means the total cost is equals to c it therefore means that the total cost is the fixed cost eh, at this particular point where q is, x is zero so i have to substitute uh, the value of c to be 1000 but since the marginal cost was expressed in thousands of units look at this the marginal cost is in thousands of shillings then I will also divide my fixed cost by a thousand. So the total cost becomes 5 over 3 x cubed minus 3 over 2 x squared minus 2 x plus 1. <coughs> now the average cost means I have to divide everything by x. Divide everything by x. That is how we get the uh, average cost function so average cost average cost becomes the total cost divided by x if i take this one divided by x i will be left with 5 over 3 x squared minus 3 over 2 x minus 2 x plus 1 over x <coughs> excuse me so uh, that's how we find the average cost function. Let's go to average re uh, revenue. Average revenue, average revenue, uh, average revenue is given as 
total revenue divided by x but on this case you have already been given the average revenue in your equation and you have been given the total revenue here 3x squared plus 7x so this will give me uh, 3x squared plus 7x then I divide this one by x what do I get this will give me 3x plus 7 I hope this mathematics is not difficult when you are told 2 plus 4 divided by 2 you normally say it is 6 divided by 2 which is 3 but you can as well take 2 divided by 2 plus 4 divided by 2 which would give you the same answer so that's why I'm saying 3x uh, squared plus 7x you can as well divide each component by x so that you get so that give this give us our uh, average average revenue so this is what you're supposed to do to score the formats let's move on to the next part calculate uh, the profit maximization output now profit profit is obtained from total revenue total revenue minus total cost yeah, total revenue minus total cost so I will take my total revenue function which was given as 3x squared uh, my total revenue function here was given as 3x squared uh, plus 7x I minus the total cost function which was given as 5 over 3x cubed minus 3 over 2x squared minus 2x plus 1 remember these ones are available from question number 1 here this is total cost 5 over 3x cubed minus 3 over 2x squared minus 2x plus 1 now let me open the brackets here what do I get this is 3x squared plus 7x minus 3 <coughs> excuse me minus this is 5 over 3x cubed plus 3 over 2x squared plus 2x minus 1 I hope you are seeing where I'm getting this plus from this negative when I multiply negative a negative is, give, is going to give me positive add the like terms here uh, this is 3 over 2 is the same as 1.5 so 1.5 plus 3 give me 4.5x squared x this is 7x and 2x will give me 9x then minus 5 over 3 x cubed minus 1 so this is the profit function this is the profit function but what I need is the output I want to find the value of x at the maximum profit so we can say at maximum at maximum profit at maximum profit we shall have d pi d x is equal to zero so zero i differentiate this one this is going to give me 9x uh, plus 9 minus i differentiate this one i get 5x squared of course when i differentiate the, the negative one gives me zero rearranging this one if you rearrange this one you'll find this is 0 is equals to 5x squared minus 9x minus 9 now we use quadratic formula to find the value of x x is equals minus b which is 9 plus or minus b squared which is 81 minus 4ac that is 4 times 5 times negative 5 Ah, uh, this gives me 180 divided by 2a which is 10 at this point uh, I, I tend to believe you know how to use the quadratic formula so this is 81 plus 180 give me 261 then square root this is 9 plus or minus square root of 261 give me 16 16.16 and then I divide this one by 10 so I'm not I'm not going to consider negative because you can't have a negative unit so plus 9 this is 25 
divide by 10 this give me 2.52 this is x is 2.52 now but you are supposed to look for maximize calculate the profit maximizing output that is what you are supposed to look for profit maximizing output you are supposed to look for x yeah x that will give you the maximum profit then <clears throat> if the question was asking you calculate the profit it means i will take the profit maximizing output and bring it back to the profit function yeah so you can easily get the profit by substituting x here as 2.52 so that you can get the profit but in this particular question i'm only ask calculate the profit maximizing output so i need to get the output which is x <coughs> now part three you are asked uh, calculate the price charge upon maximizing profit and how much each pair of shoes would cost now how do you find price 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 is the same as total revenue divided by quantity if you want to know how much is the selling price it means how much money you have divided by how much units you have sold so that you can get the selling price yeah we had calculated this one in question number one when you ask look at the average revenue or uh, average revenue in this case was supposed to be the price when you take this uh, average revenue total revenue divided by x this is the price so my price is 3x 3x plus 7 but what is x for maximizing profit x is 2.52 so this is 3 into 2.52 plus 7 what do i get here 2.52 times 3 plus 7 this give me 14 point so the price here is shillings 14.56 now <coughs> excuse me then you ask him you find the word the, uh, and how much each pair of shoe each pair of shoe means is the marginal cost marginal cost is the unit for one item so let me go back to the question you are given the marginal cost 5x squared minus 5 3x minus 2 that was the marginal cost because marginal cost is the cost of one unit eh? so 5x squared minus 3x minus 2 let's confirm whether that is still the same value uh, or the same function 5x squared minus 3x minus 2 correct now i come here and substitute my maximizing output which is 5 into 2.52 squared minus 3 into 2.52 minus 2 so 2.52 squared then multiply by 5 i get that one this is that 1.752 minus 3 times 2.52 give me 7.56 7.56 minus 2 what do i get here this is that one point seven five two minus then i also minus two and the price uh, the ma the marginal cost here will be twenty two point one nine two that will be the marginal cost so when you are asked about the marginal cost that is the cost of producing one unit when you're talking about the total cost is now the cost of producing all the other units now, when you're talking about the marginal revenue, is the revenue obtained by selling one unit. So the total revenue is the revenue obtained by selling all the units. Therefore, in this particular question, for you to get the price, this is how you're supposed to do it, and this is how you're supposed to get the marginal cost. Otherwise, and uh, that shows you how you're supposed to get the 10 marks in this particular exam. It's goodbye for now. We'll meet during our next video.